Hey everyone, welcome back to another war video. This one, war number five of season 42 for Loki taking on TCN. You can see I have APOC and Cable once again, and Colossus is reappearing. Uh, four fights this war, so let's jump right in. I am once again on path number one. Um, so I'll be taking this Mordo here on masochism. Um, I will be using APOC because he doesn't care about masochism at all. Um, so Mordo, obviously the big thing with Mordo is you don't want to hit him while you're, uh, while he's stunned. You can hit him while he's passively stunned, but I don't have a white Magneto on my team, so I just need to really just want to bait out heavies and intercept if I can. There, I tried to slow my combo down a little bit so that I could hit him with the power gain, um, but he thankfully was nice with his heavy, and I uh, was able to cancel out the power gain that way. Here, he's in the corner. He's got his power gain. It's TCN, so this guy probably <laughs> maxed out stand your ground, and uh, I end up pushing him to a special three. Um, I do have the 33% uh, special three reducer. So this special three does like, I don't know, 12 damage to, to APOC. Um, so not really too concerned about it. Um, at this point, you know, I get an intercept in here too. I land the special two. Um, I have mutant boost on, not for this fight, for subsequent fights. That shoots me all the way up to a special three. Um, so that's going to do it for Mordo. Um, you know, lose, I tanked an S3 and then lost 12% uh, health. So not too crazy of a fight. Um, on to the next one. And the next one is going to be this Havoc. So, um, this is why I have Colossus. I am in section two now. Um, we split path four. Um, so with this Havoc, I said last time, you know, this this is basically like a duel. Um, and uh, apparently the, the game heard me and, and told me that I spoke too soon. Um, so the big thing with, with Colossus against Havoc on this note is that as long as you're consistently hitting him, um, you're able to power burn him, keep his charges in check, and, and then he doesn't go unblockable. Part of what makes that work is him not throwing his special one. So he throws his special one there and uh, He's now unblockable. So now I got to deal with that for the rest of the fight. So that's really fun. There he um, finishes off a, a double medium combo. So I do get hit. Um, not the end of the world there. Um, but here at this point, because he's unblockable, I want to build up to my special three. And the reason I want to build up to my special three is, well, there's two reasons. First is because it does put that passive uh, fatigue on there as you see me eat another combo. Um, so if and when I do get hit, his chances of critting are very, very slim, um, which will hopefully increase my ability to stay alive. Um, second is in the immediate aftermath of throwing the special three, I have that passive armor, which also makes me unstoppable. So I can use that to kind of counter him if, if I need to in order to get uh, an in if I'm having a hard time. Um, so you can see there I was able to build up to the special three. It does a decent amount of damage. I am running mutant boosts, so uh, like I said, they're for APOC, but Colossus also benefits from them. Um, so I get not quite a full bar of power back. Um, there I'm trying to um, intercept him. He's not really playing along. Um, he is throwing his heavies relatively consistently enough, which is good, but he's also really throwing those special ones. Um, looking back, I maybe could have done a little better of not finishing off combos and trying to, you know, hold block. And there are certain things I sh certainly could have done to get him to avoid special ones um, that I didn't do particularly well in this fight. Uh, but here I go into a special two. It's not quite enough to KO. I decide to take another combo for old time's sake. Um, you know, but Colossus is able to here get this last special, uh, well, that last combo into the special, and I am able to take out this Havoc. So a lot dicier than the first time I took this fight uh, with the global, uh, but Colossus is able to get through. Um, so next fight is going to be the next node, which is the shared fight uh, on node 39, ebb flow intercept, uh, mighty charge, and crumbling armor. I will be using APOC for this Rintra. Um, like I said, it is ebb flow intercept, so Rintra thankfully was very nice and let me intercept them immediately. Um, so he is in the corner here, uh, but my special does enough damage. Um, 
and I knock him down. So I knock his uh, mystical charges down a little bit. I'm also, as you can see, furiously backing up um, to get him away from the corner. You do not want Renter in the corner. Um, so here I'm able to get another intercept. I kind of surprised myself and I was so surprised I decided to run into his heavy because that was more fun. Um, here I throw the another special two, big damage, gets him down to 16%. Um, so... I just need to really just not mess up here. Um, so here I get another intercept. And again, I was so surprised that I just ran right into his heavy. It was so nice I did it twice. Uh, but here I heavy into my special one, and uh, that is enough to KO. So that's a beefy wrencher. It's a rank four wrencher, but wrencher in general is beefy. And APOC able to take him out in less than a minute. Uh, APOC's a monster. So next fight's going to be my last fight. This is a rank five Dr. Doom on Conflictor. Dr. Doom is very punishing here on Conflictor because it has the, it also has the combat deja vu block penetration and prowess. Um, so you really need to be very mindful of what combos you're doing. Um, so I like varying up between light, medium, light, medium combos. And of course it's heavy um, to put the bleeds on. So here I throw my special two. Um, no hits of a crit, which is really awesome, which really helps for the power back boost. Now, Doom has super high crit resistance. Apox crit rate is not the best, so it's not totally surprising that no hits crit, uh, but I've taken Doom on this Conflictor um, Mini quite a few times with Apoc, and I'll, I'll crit every once in a while. Here's another special two. Again, nothing is crit. I literally have not crit one time on one hit in this fight as of yet. So I take another special two into the block. I'm not too concerned about the specials. You can see I'm ahead on the health. I'm at 60, he's at 40. Um, this is my last fight. I'm not trying to do anything fancy with the specials. Um, just trying to bait them out. Uh, I wouldn't have minded if he threw a special one there and I could have waited it out, but he didn't. Here, I'm thinking, you know, I can I can finish this fight. So I full five combo. Uh, if I get one crit, the fight's over. I don't get any crits, the fight's not over. So now I take this two prowess special two into the block and that did a ton of damage. Thankfully, APOC has more than enough health to survive to survive, um, and I'm able to counter with my own special one to end the fight. Um, so it looks worse than it was. I was in pretty smooth control for most of that fight, but uh, literally did not crit one time, which was which was a lot of fun. Uh, but four fights for me in that one gets me to 23 on the season um, and a streak now of 127. Um, in terms of the war itself, we did drop this one, um, so we now have dropped our last two. We're now at three and two. Um, I recorded this before for the leaderboard updated. So we're somewhere in the top 10. I'm not exactly sure we were fifth going into this war, uh, but we still are set up pretty well for the stretch run of the season. Uh, but hopefully we can get back to some winning ways here in this next war. But that will do it for this one. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see everyone soon.